anymore. I got close to Ben. My legs were shaking. I held him on my arms, hugging him, without letting go of the Majora's Mask game that I still had in my hand. I remained like that until the police came. They had been warned by a neighbor. My best friend was dead, and I couldn't do anything to avoid it. I still have nightmares about this. When I went back home, I went to the bathroom to get rid of the blood. The Zelda game was also dirty. I wiped it and saw something handwritten on it. A word. Help keep your business open and keep your customers and employees safe with Medallia Zingle. Our intelligent messaging platform can help customers remove or reduce up to 80% of in-person interactions. Medallia Zingle delivers the tools and workflows to create great experiences for businesses of any size. Get started fast and transform to contactless interactions in just a few days. Medallia Zingle. Majora. I hadn't realized about this. Uh, no, it's not it Medallia. Don't the think they're sponsoring you. The game was gone. I looked everywhere. Or that your sponsor. Me. After telling the police about what had happened, they sent Matt to a juvenile detention center. Three days after that, his death under strange circumstances was in the news. They said his eyes had come out of his sockets while he was playing The Legend of Zelda and Majora's Mask. On the TV, they showed a picture of the game. It was exactly like Ben's, the one I had with the same handwritten word. I almost passed out. I felt a chill. What was happening? I started investigating, and I found out Jack and Alice had also died in the same way as Matt. It had to be Ben's revenge. But things didn't stop there. Everything started to get more serious, and more deaths took place. I got in touch with people who had played the same version of the damned game to know what was different about it from the original. There was a saved game with Ben's name. Usually, Skull Kid would show up in faces where he's not supposed to be, staring at you. And Link's sinister statue followed you everywhere, doing weird things with evil, bloody eyes. One day, I borrowed the game. While I was playing, Link's statue appeared, and when the game was over, one of the screens said, You've had a terrible ending, right? I was stunned. It was a very similar sentence to the one Ben Stack told him before the accident. There was a face that didn't appear for the other players. When Link was dying, the dialogue said, Even though you didn't help, I don't hold anything against you, my friend. So it is true. There is a cursed version of the Zelda game where Ben drowned in Joy's playing with your mind to scare you. His image will haunt you even when you sleep until you probably lose your mind. <laughs> I remember when I was young, I used to love my Nintendo 64. I used to, I used to spend me, hours but, oh, and hours playing. Excuse me. Time just flew. I have a couple of favorite games I had completed several times, but without a doubt, my favorite one was Super Mario 64. I knew it by heart from beginning to end. That's why I got really mad when I lost it. My family and I moved into a new house, and the game disappeared during the move. With time, I stopped playing the same system, and forgot all of it. But one night, the game was made by a and the game card only had the name of the game handwritten with a marker. I felt fooled, and I tried to complain, but the web page where I had bought it wasn't there anymore, and the contact email simply sent the emails right back, as if it didn't exist. Upset, but curious at the same time, I decided to dust my old Nintendo 64 and give it a try. After the title screen, Mario's face appeared. He could actually reshape his face, and I wanted to have some fun stretching his ears. But suddenly, a static interference showed up in the screen, and the weirdest thing, the strange sounds started coming out of it, and what seemed to be a whisper of a nearly inaudible voice. I took the game card out, and I blew into the slot, an old trick I had had since I was a kid. When I started it again, I passed Mario's face screen and started a new game. It was weird that there was no introduction with Princess Peach's video inviting Mario to play. Instead, I was very much like with something was to be played.
surprised. I didn't recall him there in the region before. When I went towards him, I ran away, and I went after him. Suddenly, everything started turning gloomier and gloomier. With each moment, the scenery was the music and the animals began to grow up to sleep. Until suddenly, they just froze and laid down. I couldn't see Luigi anymore, so I went to the top of the mountain, but I didn't see the big bomb on the way. Only a small cottage. I opened the door and was shocked when I saw Luigi hanging on the floor. The I heard was something that the one of the things. Mario fell on the floor and his face and started to cry. The screen went up and I went back to the castle, but Ben had changed his mind. Lots of toads were around me, with black eyes and a macabre expression on their faces. The most terrifying thing of all, the frame had a picture of the family now. I got so scared that I wanted to turn it all up, but I couldn't. Even unplugging the old thing, the screen was still on. It was forcing me to keep playing. So I jumped into the picture and I started the old vision that came out. All the buttons on the I was in a place with a lot of platforms, only a voice in his wife. A strange shape and the undefined black ball appeared and it started to crawl after me. I jumped from one platform to the next. I really couldn't escape until finally it got me and slowly consumed me. I lost one of my legs and I was kicked out of the frame. But now, a picture of my family appeared. Their bodies started to show signs of digging position as it came from recent losses. The effect was too real to be done by Photoshop. It did look like a real picture. Desperate, I wanted to stop seeing that thing testing, so I jumped inside the frame again. This time, the mission was called a right here. I was in a dark room with no exit or wreckage. There was a piano. When I got close to it, it turned into a horrendous creature and it started to chase me. I couldn't hurt it, so I had to let myself die. But instead of the typical death sequence, Mario fell on the floor and started to bleed and his guts scattered all over. It was grotesque, but it became completely terrifying when little by little it turned into a real image. A truthful reconstruction of a dying Mario. Paralyzed, I couldn't do anything but observe until Mario was kicked out of the picture again. Now, the castle was on fire. There was a painting on the wall written with blood that said, You'll never save him. And the frame had a totally terrifying picture of my family. Their bodies were more and more putrefied. They had holes with bugs coming out of them and eating up their flesh. Their guts were hanging out and their eyeballs were coming out of their sockets. I was terrified. I grabbed my phone and I tried to contact them with no success. My dad, my mom, and my sister, none of them answered. I looked at the screen again. This time, I could only see a sentence. Game over. On a black bag. Fear and the worst, I left home to go and find me, hoping nothing had happened to them. In the early 1980s, in a town in the United States, panic began when serious violent deaths followed. The victims had been brutally tortured and killed, and the perpetrator always left the initials too deep with blood on the wall. Beyond that, the police had no clue. The most brutal killing took place in a home where six people died and only one survived with serious injuries. His testimony was chilling. He claimed to have been attacked by a small, blood covered teddy bear with a macabre smile full of fangs and from whose eyes flowed On its head, it had a kind of an attack with a red stone. He acted like a madman, jumping from one side to the other. The police dismissed his testimony, and he was committed to a mental sanatorium. They said he committed suicide. A rumor began to spread around the city that the person who was in the crime was a woman, and everyone locked themselves in their houses as soon as the sun set. One night, the police patrolled all the way around the wings of the nuts of their back. And a few meters away, the figure of Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Well, I can't get copyrighted, right? It's, it's, it's basically my own.